one of my favorite breakfasts. Um, forgive my gown and my look just because I woke up and to be frank, um, I'm always so cold in the morning and I can't be bothered wearing anything else but my dressing gown. So I'm not gonna look the most presentable at the moment. But yeah, that's my favorite breakfast. Packed in with protein, carbs, and fat. Um, I would usually, I would normally have two, only two toasts if I'm having a rest day. But today is leg day, so I need extra carbs and extra protein. Is it true that life is precious? If it's true, life is precious, and you could be gone tomorrow. Do you really want to think? You know what? I just never felt fulfilled. I never allowed myself to have a moment of credit. I never allowed myself to have a moment of peace. Okay, for me, yeah, time for lunch. I'm starving, um, as always, and I don't know whether I have a really fast metabolism, but um, every two hours, it's like my stomach is just, it's like my body tells me that I'm hungry. I never used to be like that, by the way. So if you think that you're someone that struggles to eat, I kind of made myself um, I kind of got to this point because um, obviously if you've been following for a while you know that I struggled with anorexia before so my appetite used to be zero, like nada because obviously um, your body gets used to what you give it, right? If you get your body to eat next to nothing, it will be really hard for you to consume calories, okay? And I'm talking for those people that struggle to eat a lot, but also for those people that are trying to lose weight and they need to consume less calories, okay? But they get constantly hungry. So how do you do this then? How do you get your body to that stage um, where you need to either put on weight or lose weight? Guys, you do this gradually, okay? You can't just pass from eating next to nothing for example or just eating like a thousand calories some of my online coaching clients came to me saying that they ate 800 calories which is nothing i don't know if you know more a lot about um uh, calories but that's for like a little girl it's not for an adult it's not for anyone really um and then the way i build it up uh, calories again is by introducing calories slowly gradually okay you can't just go from for example her eating 800 calories to the next day eating 2000 plus it's not going to work she's going to feel sick she's going to hate it she's going to give up sooner than rather than later and that that same principle applies for anyone and if you're looking for someone that can help you with your calories and can help you introduce slowly food also take it out and um, if you want to lose weight at the same time and you can't do it by yourself link in the description below guys i do one-to-one -one online coaching we can speak to me 24 hours on my app you can we can do weekly check-ins all the time so if you need help that one-to-one -one support now's the time and also since it's christmas i thought i'll give you a little bit of a gift okay and um, just at the moment i'm offering a free completely free so free now that you don't Get, get anything it's like a gift um, that I wanted to give something back to you guys um, I'm giving a free Christmas recipe guide so again the link to download it is in my website and you can also get one month of free coaching after the commitment so basically what what more do you want for Christmas literally it's only available for limited uh, time only so make sure you check it out in the website and yeah get it for free because that's my Christmas gift for you guys. <laughs> anyway, 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 let's go back to the eating. Right, one good tip that I'm gonna give you, right, is to cook in bulk. So, I have my lovely enchiladas, one enchilada actually, one enchilada, um, and I made, um, when I make these, I don't make one at a time, I make like four or five of these, so I can spread them throughout the week, so that I don't have to cook and it's so much easier. Um, it's like a, a form of like, it's like meal prepping, isn't it? So I'm just gonna have this um, from, the, from the other day. Um, it can stay food cooked food, normally can stay in the fridge up to three days, okay? So I'm gonna have this and then with it as well, I'm gonna have something else because I think I'm on a bulk in the moment and I'm gonna be hungry, okay? So I'm gonna get um, really bloody random but when I made myself a quick salad, um, a quick mozzarella salad, so I'm gonna have mozzarella, 
cucumber, some peppers in, like literally a quick salad to add on the side with it, okay? So I just put half of mozzarella because I had a mozzarella maxi. And guys, this little baby has got 20 grams of protein, okay? 20 grams of protein extra. So you can, to be fair, you can argue that you could have this as a snack as well, like if you don't want to have it with your um, meal already because obviously that minced meat will be packed in protein already so you could basically have it with um, like later on as a snack as well so you can distribute it your protein after but um, I feel like if I only have the little um, the little um, what's it called the little tortilla I will be really hungry after so I'm just gonna it's basically for like more volume if it makes sense the most random chopping yeah olive oil and then I'm gonna add some seasoning some like little salt some pepper It's like it's random AF. Yeah. And then some herbs. Because why not season everything? You know what I mean? You might think that this is really weird by the way, but yeah, that's my salad and with my little enchilada. Obviously guys don't mind the um dirty the pile of dirty place behind I was filming the recipe and um, so I had to do a lot of cooking and I still need to finish um, washing but um, I'm going to enjoy this in the, mo in, uh, <laughs> the moment. Very important thing as well guys, um, you might be noticing that I'm not tracking at the moment and it's true, I'm not. Um, I just decide to eat intuitively at the moment. I'm not um, looking for a particular goal, I suppose. I had a bit of a break from tracking, um, just because sometimes it's just, you can't do it all the time, you go insane, you get obsessive over it. So I like to have a break every now and then. And anyway, I like to have the same meals. So if you want, um, if you go and watch one of the What Eat In A Week, which I filmed, um, this is actually one of the meals that I repeatedly eat every single week. I actually would have this every single week. So I tend to eat the same things every single week just because it's easier. I'm a creature of habit. I like um, knowing as well what I'm eating and this way I kind of know roughly how much protein and calories I have every single day because if I repeat the meal I already know um, roughly how many calories I'm going to get already although I'm not weighting the food but because I've been doing it for so long now that I know already in my head that this has got this many calories if it makes sense um, obviously it's not 100% accurate because I'm not weighting up the food but I know roughly what I'm eating do you know what I mean um, and this is good to maintain um, but in the new year I'm going to do a second what I eat in a, um, in a week I'm gonna start waiting up all the food again because I'm gonna look and grow again. So at the moment I'm kind of maintaining, so I'm not really bothered, I suppose. Um, although all the meals, you can notice that really high in protein and this is what I always prefer. So I can reckon the whole meal will have about 50 grams of protein just for lunch.
Okay, so guys, I'm hungry again. Guess what? Shock news. So I'm gonna make one of my favorite recipes. Listen, 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 listen. You're not ready for this. This is so delicious. And this is actually the step-by-step -step guide. It's also in my Christmas recipe guide, which is free. Free, like free. Well, I free, like you know, free for free, like no nothing, you nada. Know, on my website, you can download it, click it, tick, and you can get it. Um, obviously, it'll only be available for a limited time. So I'm gonna make this today, and oh, listen, it's so easy to make, and it's so delicious. Like, so I'll tell you what you need: banana blessed, banana blessed, <laughs> banana bread blessed protein, or any other flavor you want. Listen, blessed protein is probably the best um, protein used for cooking and baking because the consistency generally is so much thicker. So I probably wouldn't have it with just water. So what I normally do is either I mix it with recipes like what I'm about to show you now or I make my smoothie um, with milk, ice cubes and a whole banana. Oh, the best smoothie ever. It's like a milkshake. Amazing. Uh, but or use it with recipes which I'm gonna do now. So shot you gonna need to need a whole banana protein, blessed protein, code Kiara10. Make sure if you get it you use my code otherwise we're not friends anymore. Um, <laughs> um, also since I'm giving you something for free I like to specify that it's just fair that you like and subscribe at least as a present. I mean I give you something you give me some right it just doesn't cost you anything other since I'm getting something for free right Okay, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so this, this, and you need flour and peanut butter. So literally one, two, three, four ingredients to make the most delicious thing ever that you're, gonna about, you're about to experience. Let's go, I'll just show you now. So you want to mash a banana, a whole banana, you know, a whole banana? Why am I just talking weird now? It's been weird, sorry. I'm just gonna stop. Uh, you want to mash it with a fork. Finito result. Look how cute. Oh, chocolate chip just slipped. But protein, chocolate chip cookie. Delicious. So last meal of the day, guys. Um, I'm gonna be honest. You know that. Um, and sometimes I do have a takeaway. This is actually my first Indian. I'm gonna show you what I'm having. Um, this is some sort of curry, and yeah, this is whatever called. I don't know, you probably know more than me because I never got it before, but it's really, really tasty. And that's obviously like a naan, I suppose, and then some other stuff that I don't know the name of. The name of. But um, basically, yeah, um, I don't want you to be worried about consuming um, takeaways or feel guilty about it. I don't want you to call it a cheap meal either, just because it's okay to have other foods included in your diet without being guilty or feeling guilty, guilt-free, okay, without having to worry about burning them off the next day, okay? Obviously, if this becomes a lifestyle and you keep doing it every single day, then it's something that, obviously, it needs to, <laughs> we need to have a conversation about, okay? So, having it once in a while, like, once a month, for example, or twice a month, is something that you shouldn't be worrying about, okay? Um, everything is all about moderation and balance. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna enjoy this. I'm just gonna give you a bit of a close up of what it is. And that's pretty much me eating my water eat in a day. So we're just gonna enjoy this and I will see you later. <laughs> 